Welcome to another week in my life with a mixture of wholesome and not so wholesome activities. I'm 25 years old, living on my own in Santa Barbara with the cutest puppy ever, and I'm honestly still figuring life out. But I love making these vlogs about navigating my 20s, as well as showing all the places I go to, my recommendations, how much everything costs. So whether you're here just to enjoy the vibes, or if you need recommendations for visiting Santa Barbara, stay tuned and make sure to subscribe. So we just went a little shopping because um, that's our job. We're in fashion, baby. <laughs> and we just got the coolest invite to two private um, shows from two major designers. So excited. It's a secret until we are there and then we'll vlog it. Yeah. Migrated to the couch. Come, 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 come. Come, come, We're going to the pickle room. <laughs> Someone did something not good. I'm about to try to fix this. Morgan, honestly, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. This is bad. What? This is just <laughs> I came home and Enzo had eaten a roll of toilet paper, so it's everywhere, and also started eating my fake plant. So there's like leaves on the ground. This is just a wreck. Really gotta. Oh, yeah, and then that's some poo. Look at the nails instead. <laughs> this is clean at least. Gonna fold that. Oh, beautiful. Okay, I just finished some work, yay. Feeling productive. I got hungry again, so now I'm gonna go take myself to Trader Joe's and get some groceries. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out which way to go. I had a lot of junk food this weekend, which I wanted, by the ways, and you're allowed that. Like, if you're on my channel, you know I talk a lot about food freedom, and I was craving like McDonald's and pizza, and I don't feel guilty about it at all, but I am, funny enough, now craving like a lot of healthy food, and this is why I'm such a firm believer in food freedom. It's because when you eat intuitively, you some days crave 
really, you know, anything you want, ice cream. And other days you're like, actually a smoothie, that's just an example. Or like a really good salad sounds so good right now. So I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and get myself, they have this salad that is so good. It's like a arugula chicken couscous kind of salad. I really like it. So I'm gonna get that and a few other things for my house. I've also been having a sandwich fixation recently. Oof. I want to get sandwich making ingredients. Oh, yeah. I want to get sandwich making ingredients like ciabatta and like turkey and provolone, like good ingredients, because that sounds bomb. Oh, okay. We're going to stop filming while driving. Bye. <laughs> Okay, here's a quick haul. Basil plant for sandwiches, but also for the aesthetic. I was so hungry after making this haul, I snacked on the curry chicken before making myself some lunch, and this is one of my go-to meals. I don't feel like their packed version is big enough for me, so I add in some arugula and some more grilled chicken as well for extra protein. This is your reminder that just because something comes in a serving size doesn't mean you can't have more. I'm gonna enjoy my lunch. This is one of my favorite big salads to make, but I'm gonna watch some TV and enjoy this, and then we'll continue with this productive get my life together day. <laughs> If you've been following me for a while, you know that I love core power yoga and I couldn't film in the class because I wanted to be respectful of everyone so my friend Molly helped me film some of the moves that we did. Honestly, I remember at the start of my fitness journey really struggling to do some of these, but trust me, practice makes everything so much easier. I finished hot yoga and I didn't want to even shower because I'm gonna go swim with Enzo at the ocean really quickly because he needs some exercise. So I'm gonna be tossing sticks for like the next half an hour. Lucky guy. And then take a shower and do work because I need to. This is one of my favorite cafes in Santa Barbara, and this is my go-to coffee there. I did some work with my friend Garrett in the morning before going and getting lunch, and later I'm going to go do a workout.
gonna take a trip out to Vegas. Yeah, this LV, baby. That's how we step in the baby. I do this shit on a regular basis. Come see how I'm living, little baby. It all makes sense, little baby. Show you all about some money, baby. Girl, you one on one. Stop acting like you don't know. Let me show you all. Show you why you're my favorite one. Show you why it ain't tricking if you got it. What you asking for? We pop a couple bottles, take a few trips any place you like to go. Hoes hate from the sideline, I turn you up some more. I put diamonds all in your body just to let you know. I'm like, yeah, baby, keep shining, Cardio on bro. You'll think that she cocky, but shorty, she confident, baby, she living remote. I like the way she sing to my microphone. Pop yeah. into some tunes in the studio. Love, I make a heartbeat, ain't no way, gotta hear it in hard. I got these new shoes and they're really cool blue. So I'm gonna try to style them for tonight, but I think they're really cute. I feel like these should be worn with like no show socks. Ah, and maybe not black. <laughs> this is cute, I can't tell. I can't tell if this is cute or not. What do you think? Is it cute? Is it cute, Enzo? <laughs> just randomly broke so it had to get erased which is really annoying and sad but i hope you enjoyed this vlog regardless this music in the background is making me feel a lot better about a horrible situation but if you've gotten to this point in the video comment down below if any like small things have happened to you like bad ones recently like my phone breaking and i'll respond to you because maybe something's in the air i feel like something is happening to all of us my friend recently popped her tire so Kind of frustrating but then i'll know you've watched the whole video so comment that but regardless thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video